Yo, peace. In this video, we're going to watch my first studio session with a national recording artist. His name is Westside Gun. The label flew me down to Atlanta, set the session up. This is like 2020. Um, they set the session up. I met Westside Gun, Makami. I met a bunch of incredible artists. Westside Gun took the Instagram live, captured the whole thing. I'm going to share that with you guys here in a minute stay tuned to the end of the video though where i share five five takeaways from this studio session change me as an artist i definitely want to share them with you so uh, stick around be on standby we'll get back to it conductor out Got Conductor Williams in this motherfucker. Conductor, 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 conductor. Uh oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let him hear that again. Hold on. Let me. Nah, that's the exclusive. Conductor, conductor. That's the exclusive. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, conductor, we have a problem. Oh, conductor, shit. conductor, we have a problem. Oh shit. Conductor, conductor, conductor. Hitler eight motherfuckers. Flash Monk in this motherfucker. Camouflage Monk conductor under the same fucking roof. Sadu in the other fucking room. Y'all think I'm about to fucking play with y'all? I'm not fucking playing with y'all. So, y'all 
know what y'all y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all see my kid, Plum here, Monk here. You know what I'm saying? Conductor Williams shit, Sadu here, J.R. Swift shit too. I don't know where where J.R. Swift's at. Ain't no telling where you at J.R. Swift around here too. You know what I'm saying? Word. I just wanted to tap in. Y'all know I don't even do this shit. But we working. You know what I mean? Danger, danger. Yo, peace. That was phenomenal, man. Looking back at that video, really, like, I, I was trying to control the emotions, you know, while editing and, and recording it and watching it again. I really was, like, taken back by how um, how everything kind of unfolded. Westside Gunn is fantastic. He's a fantastic person. And on that trip, I met him. I met Keisha Plum. I met I met everybody. I met Mock. I met Camouflage Monk. I met um, a lot of artists that I've always looked up to. The only person that I didn't meet that was supposed to be there was Derringer. Um, I don't think he could make it. It was kind of at the beginning of COVID. It was 2020. What's this COVID thing? It was like that weird area. But um, so yeah, five takeaways from this, okay? I jotted them down here off to my left. Uh, Not in any particular order, but this is my five takeaways from um, this studio session with Westside Gun. And the first one was... um, I noticed I really leaned into being myself and it came with a bit of maturity. Maybe uh, it comes with age, but I entered the room as as human as possible and as myself as possible. Like I didn't overdress. I wasn't trying to be whatever in my mind I had of West Side Gun being Fly God. He's Fly God, right? For you guys that know him, he's the Fly God. Um, I didn't want to try to be that. I just did what I do, hypnotize my hoodie, um, beanie, boom, you know, Jordan 5s. I just kept it real chill, something I was comfortable in, and I think that set the tone for me being there and uh, being successful. The second one I got is Be Prepared. I literally took over 300 beats, like completely took 300 beats. Every batch of instrumentals, excuse me, that I make, are 25 to 30 beats in the batch. I took about 15 batches down there. So I took a lot of instrumentals. I wanted to share a lot. I wanted to be prepared. And um, I definitely walked in there with that. I took extra cables. I took some drum machines. I took everything I thought I needed, adapters in case the studio didn't have them. I really over-prepared. That way, ready, set, go. You know what I'm saying? Number three is gift the room. Gift the room. Um, I had a mentor early on. His name was Simon Says. He had a studio in his house, the basement of his house in North Kansas City. It was pretty good. It was probably about a $100,000 studio in his basement. But um, he's my mentor. And he told me we were going to take a bigger session at Chapman Recording Studio here in Kansas City. It was a prestigious uh, building. Rest in peace to the owner. But... Uh, When we were driving there, he said, when we get in there, I want you to say hello to everybody. Janitor, the engineer, the, uh, his, his little assistant, the artist, this person, this is like everybody in the room, the entourage, you say hello to everybody and and you want to gift the room with, um, kindness, warm up the room. However that means, it means with a smile um, or whatever, you want to just warm the room up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that definitely helped me out a lot, you know. Uh, Number four is be present. And I try to do this in everyday life with my kids at their soccer games or at their swim practice or whatever. I try to be present. I'm here. I'm here right now. This is what matters. My phone isn't out. I'm not filming everybody i am available emotionally available mentally available and um, ready to be of service and that helped me through uh the thick of the beginning stages when i was um connecting and and playing the beats and feeling the room just being there and listening to the conversations around me and remembering people's names and um, not being nervous. That helped the nerves go away. You know what I'm saying? 
because I wasn't thinking about later and creating um, biases, um, false narratives, uh, these things, very psychosomatic things. I wasn't creating those. I was just here. I'm just here, man. Let's just let me just hook these machines up and play some beats for you guys. Let's have some fun. Let's listen to some great sounds. Let's take some criticism. Um, let's let's enjoy, you know, together. Five kind of ties in with four, and that's breathe. You know, I had to remind myself to breathe at certain port parts of it and um, talking too fast, you know, like hyper excited, um, but just like, bro, breathe, you know breathe and uh i try to do that all the time though you know what i mean I try to do that a lot and the bonus the bonus number six is a bonus i said five but six is a bonus and uh six is less is more less is more you know you don't want to you want to go stealth mode and be a wallflower but be cool you know what i'm saying go back to number five breathe um, talk, conversate, have a great time. You don't want to overindulge, though, man. Like, if I get drunk, how embarrassing. Um, be sloppy. Um, whether if you in, indulge in like other things, you don't want to do that. You know, just be cool. Be cool. Be present. Be cool. Don't overindulge. When they don't want to listen to beats anymore. Close your laptop. You don't got to. I got another one. Hold up. I got another one. But you ain't heard this one. But you ain't heard this one. It's like, yo, chill. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. So um, I'm thankful that I thought of those things. And I honestly did. I thought of all of these things that I listed to you before I left Kansas City to go to Atlanta. Is um, I waited too long for an opportunity. Uh, and... Um, God opened this door for me to show my talent. He, I feel like I wasn't, this door wasn't open for me to get rich. This door wasn't open for me to make anyone feel lesser than me. This door was simply opened to show um, how amazing God is. And um, I'm a creation of, of that. So, uh, so yeah, man. Five, six takeaways. Hopefully it betters you. I mean, I think these are things that you can use in your white collar business also. You get a big conference. I think these uh, five, six things could apply to that. You know, if you're a blue collar worker and your first day on the job, you know, at the gig, in the lunchroom, uh, in the break room, I think a lot of these things could apply. So uh, I'm really having fun with this YouTube channel and I'm having fun on this platform. I didn't know how enjoyable it was. I used to really only use Instagram, but uh, I, I'm really enjoying this YouTube uh, platform and I'm very thankful for it. I'm thankful for y'all, man. Hopefully these uh, videos are lighting y'all up, but um, I'm gonna keep doing them regardless. So uh, until next time, conductor out. Eee, conductor out.